Welcome back everybody. This is Scott with Off Grid Stoves and we're here to help you keep that Osterflom or that Reeker run. Uh, today's video is basically a warning. A warning to help you understand that when a part goes out on your stove, <clears throat> excuse me, do not go out and just buy yourself another part and put it in your stove. It may, or as of recently, according to the number of individuals that are having this issue, they are buying parts after they self-diagnose the problem and they're blowing the part again once it's installed into the stove. Worst case scenario is the motherboard. The motherboard is normally, uh, if a part blows, it will surge back to the motherboard and it will fry it. Uh, very expensive mistake. <clears throat> what we're recommending is that if you're seeing this before uh, you're attempting to put new parts in your stove, stop. Contact us, allow us to help you determine exactly what is going on with your stove. Uh, for instance, a gentleman just blew his igniter. His igniter sent a surge back to the board, blew the board. <clears throat> Gentleman ends up calling us and, or I should say emailing us, and orders himself a new igniter. We'll ship him a new igniter. He gets a new igniter in the mail, it doesn't work. He emails us. He says, hey, look, you have uh, obviously sent me a faulty part. Well, first off, <clears throat> we test our igniters before we send them out, just FYI, so that we know that the igniters are going to function uh, <clears throat> when you receive them and you put them in. Second, when the igniter has a tendency to blow, it does have a very large possibility of it damaging the motherboard. And in this situation, that's exactly what happened. Um, so after a few minutes of discussion with the individual, we convinced them to take the motherboard out and take a look at it closely. What they found is the board was charred, okay? so. In other words, the first igniter that went out blew the board, he receives the new one, he puts it in, doesn't work, and he immediately emails us saying that it's a faulty part. So, <clears throat> this is where we come in. If you have a problem with your stove and it goes out, your stove stops running, or it doesn't ignite, or the combustion fan doesn't turn on, or do da 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 okay? Email us, give us the symptoms, we will help diagnose it by email. If we cannot figure out exactly what the problem is, then we will ask you to mail us your user board, motherboard, and your air sensor. We will put them on our testing board and we will check and make sure that you don't have any problems with them. And we will save a lot of time and a lot of money in regards to um, selling you parts that you don't need. So, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you have any questions or concerns about your stove, go ahead and email us at offgridstoves at gmail.com. We will help you in determining exactly what's going on and we will get you up and running as quick as possible. Okay, that easy, that simple. You guys stay safe out there. Peace.